And South Korean lawmakers are pushing ahead with a bill that would inscribe into law its pledge to go carbon neutral by 2050. If that goal does become law, South Korea will join a number of advanced countries like Sweden and the UK that have legislated their own net zero targets. Lee Kyung Eun has this report. South Korea takes its first step towards making its goal of becoming carbon neutral into law. The National Assembly Senate Committee on Wednesday approved a bill aimed at solidifying the plan which the government hopes to achieve either by reducing gas emissions from coal and liquefied natural gas or replacing them with green hydrogen. Spearheaded by the ruling Democratic Party, the bill commits South Korea to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2050. And as a midterm goal, reducing carbon emissions by at least 35 percent compared to 2018 levels by 2030. That's going to become South Korea's new nationally determined contribution, part of the global initiative to go carbon neutral in line with the 2015 Paris Agreement. The new NDC, which will be submitted to the UN in November, sets a strengthened target compared to its previous one, which says 24 percent below 2017 levels by 2030. The bill also promotes establishing related committees in both central and local governments, executing climate policies and transforming small companies into green businesses. Several advanced countries have already made their net zero targets into law. Sweden was the first country pledging to become carbon neutral by 2045, five years ahead of the global timeline. France, the UK and four others have subsequently set the same goal for 2050. South Korea was among the six countries or areas that have proposed legislation. And if the bill officially passes through parliament next week, South Korea will be the latest country to have a legally binding goal of net zero carbon emissions. Lee Kyung-un, Arirang News.